this is my version of the Mr. Carlson's lab capacitor leakage tester. Uh, I have completed it and um, I have to say after building this tester I really appreciate I started appreciating really appreciating the job that Mr. Carlson did for example you have um, one microfarad capacitor here mm, I think it's a poly propylene or something like a film capacitor because it has absolutely no leakage it came out of um, a very old test machine okay so here we have it connected um, we start the tester the electrolytic we see it's no problem um, if we put it in the polypro it's now charging let me get this glare out of here much better now and we see it get, goes down and we have absolutely no problem in the polypropylene position or film capacitor is discharge it charge it again and while it's charging I will switch to the forecasting position to see if in the for forecasting position it's gonna charge much 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 slower but as we can see it's discharging I have not put any um, labels yet but I will do so somewhere in the future this is my discharge LED right here and I also implemented the um, Zener diodes to have different voltages we have the 27 non-restricted voltage the 25 20 15 10 8 6 and 5 volts so as you can see in the forecasting position it reaches green light which means it's a very good cap let's discharge it and switch it for another 0.1 cap that I have removed from an old uh, uh, radio um, this one is a 0.1 microfarad 400 volts um, it's a good cap I think it's a film cap as well because it all also in the forecasting position it shows zero leakage if I had this tester before I would have not swapped these capacitors but since I did not have them well I swapped them so let's see it's now charging in the um, poly mica and film caps position and I will do the same trick I will switch to forecasting right as it goes down we are now in the forecasting position and let's see if it reaches green light And I think we will have a green light. And we do. So, if we switch to charge, I want, to see, I want you to see the discharge LED and now into test mode and right when I click it down you see it flickered it discharged the cap everything is good so I want to say a big thanks to Mr. Carlson to Paul um, it's really really nice um, I want to have um, I want to uh, add one more thing um, it really does not work without a shield shielded sense lead no way in hell I could not make it work without a sense lead that's shielded I have used this uh, thin flexible uh, coax lead and now everything works a charm it's magic 
um, without it no but with it it's very good as you can see in the test position in the forecasting uh, when we touch the boot it it um, really affects the, the machine is very 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 sensitive just touching it barely uh, but uh, when we touch the sense lead uh, the shielded lead the shielded sense lead we have no problem whatsoever i can touch them both but if i grab the shield it up to here but if i touch the boots you see it goes it measures it it senses it so again i want to say a big big thanks to mr carlson to paul it's fabulous it's a wonderful machine this will end up um, used a lot very 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 pleased i have some radios here that i'm working on so um this will help me um, I build it now because I have some caps here that uh, I don't know um, how they behave and if they are good or not and I don't they look fine they measure fine but I wanted to check the leakage as a matter of fact I did and it's wonderful it helped me uh, no leakage in these caps whatsoever so I'm gonna leave them in no more shotgun changing caps for me whatsoever so thanks Paul thanks a lot